Hey, thanks for watching guys. This is Chris's Clock Repair and you're watching my lathe experience adventure. So I just got a new lathe and now I have an opportunity to use it. So I need a tool that's gonna unscrew that nut there that's holding that gear onto the shaft of that wheel. So it's got a hex shaped nut head and I don't have a tool that can fit through there. So there it is, there you see the nut. So I need a tool that's gonna to unscrew that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, here is an example of a close-up of the nut that I need to remove. Now I've got this brass rod. And I'm gonna turn this brass rod into my tool. So this will be the end product that I'm gonna make. As you can see, I've made a hole in there and it's got a hex shape and it's gonna fit over that nut perfectly so I can unscrew it, which will be useful because this is a common nut that I see on these Ansonia movements. First thing I do is cut down the rod to a smaller size, and I'm really fast at that. All right, so now I sit down and I look at the brass rod, and I'm not sure what I was doing there. But right here, I'm putting my tool into the lathe into my holder. And I'm gonna face the end of that brass rod so I got a nice smooth surface. Okay, cool. Now I'm done with that. Faced off the end of that brass rod. Now I'm putting my uh, chuck on my tailstock. And we're going to go ahead and put in a drill bit to drill a hole through the center of the brass rod. So here we go. Inserting the drill bit. There we go. We tighten it down with our chuck key. And then I'm going to position my... Oh, doing something with the calipers there. Yep, make sure I got the right size there. Okay, we're gonna position our tailstock. And then we're gonna position it so we can cut hole through the center of the rod. Add a little oil to uh, lubricate the bit. Make the cutting a little bit easier. Periodically bringing it out, let the shavings come out, and adding some oil. Here you have a better view. You can see me inserting the drill bit by advancing the tailstock. And cutting a hole through the center of the shaft. Okay, cool. So now the rest of the, the hexagonal shape inside, I need to take that round hole and turn it into the hexagonal shape that's gonna fit my hex nut. And the way I do that is I actually file it by hand uh, with a three-sided triangular shaped mini uh, jeweler's file. And I do that by hand. It's a little laborious, um, but it's effective. Okay, great, now that I've filed my hex count shape, I'm gonna take my nut, test it, make sure it fits, and voila, it does. So there it is. Uh, looks pretty good, huh? 
my first time using my new lathe. Pretty excited. I didn't break anything or chop off my fingers. And look, there it is. Fits right in there. Bam! Okay, so here's the real test. Can I remove the gear from the shaft? I intended to make a handle, but in the interest of time, Look at I just used my parallel pliers. And voila, it worked. Came right off. Look at there. Screws in and out perfectly. So thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, the adventure of my lathe training and experience.